So here's once again one of those extremely intimidating problems that's actually very, very simple. It looks just so massive, but in the end it, ho it only comes down to, get it. you can see it's all is one uh, term in the numerator, one term in the denominator, and all I'm going to want to do is cancel common factors. Okay. So in the first step you can already go and see, well, you know, there's some common factors that can cancel, um, but uh, yeah, no. I can't see any immediately, so let's skip that and just go to simplifying um, using our three important steps. One is make all positive, acute, and simple. Okay, there are some negative angles in here. There's some unacute angles, and there's if that's a word, and there's some uh, complex angles like this two theta that we want to simplify. Then we're going to change everything into cos and sine. And finally, we'll do our uh, cancellation, although we can do these steps interchangeably, um, except for the first one to change it into positive, acute, and simple. The rest you can do interchangeably. So let's see, what can we do? First of all, um, what we are going to need is our cast diagram. Okay, our cast diagram, there we go. That's 0, 90, 180. 270 degrees. Then we know that going clockwise we, we're adding, so this is 90 plus, 180 plus, 270 plus. Going anti-clockwise we are subtracting, so this is 0 minus, 270 minus, 180 minus, 90 minus. Okay, then let's do the negative angles as well. So negative goes in the clockwise direction, then this is negative 90 degrees, negative 180 degrees, negative 270 degrees and this is I forgot to put 360 degrees and negative 360 degrees okay so this is negative 360 plus so if I go in the positive direction it's positive um, in negative direction it's negative so let's see sine of 270 plus theta negative 270 there's negative 270 plus theta means negative 270 is here on the y-axis plus means I'm going in the positive direction so anti-clockwise which means that's where sine is positive however this is a co-ratio expression because I am making an angle with my y-axis and not with my x-axis so to change that I'm going to make this into cos of theta and I keep it positive because sine, the original angle is in the sine function and sine is positive in the second quadrant. Okay, how about cos? Cos of negative 270 minus, so there's negative 270, minus means I'm going in the negative direction, which is in that direction, and this is in the first quadrant where everything is positive, but again I'm making my angle with my y-axis, so I use sine. I change cos into sine, to make my y axis triangle an x axis triangle and I'm changing my angle to an acute angle. Sine of 300 negative 360 plus. So negative 360 is this one. Plus is in the positive direction. So that is first quadrant. My angle is made with my x axis which is fine. So this just changes to positive sine of theta. Finally, we have sine of 2 theta, and we know that this becomes 2, well, let me put the 2 here. This becomes 2 sine theta cos theta. Okay, now for the denominator. Okay, for the denominator, here we have cos of 90 degrees plus. So there's 90 degrees plus is in this quadrant. Cos is negative in this quadrant, but I am making my angle with the x with the y axis. So though it's negative, the cos changed to a sine of theta. Tan. Tan of 180 plus, let me just put this in bracket, tans of 180 minus, here's 180. Minus is in the negative direction or clockwise, which means I'm in the second quadrant and where tan is negative tan of theta. Okay. How about sine 360 minus, 360 is all the way here, minus is in the opposite direction, fourth quadrant where sine is negative sine theta. Again, my angle is made with the x-axis. Cos of 360 in that quadrant is positive. So that changes to cos of theta. 
finally sine of negative 270 minus so negative 270 let's change the color so we can see where we are negative goes in this direction to 270 minus is also in the first quadrant this is a y-axis angle so sine changes into a cos and at theta well the, the sign for sine in the first quadrant is still positive so this is cos of theta and here we can go we can immediately before we change everything into cos and sine do our dust step do algebraic simplification just to make it easier already so here cos can cancel with cos sine can cancel with um, one of these signs that sine can cancel with that sign uh, what else do we have? That cos can cancel with that cos. So what do I have left? I've got a sine over tan left and what sign do we have? We have three negatives. That means it's an odd number of negatives. It would be negative sine theta over tan theta. Now tan theta can be changed into sine over cos. So this can become sine theta over um, let's do it in the previous step let's not waste space okay so this can become that tan can become sine theta over cos theta now when I divide with a fraction I tip in times so in the numerator I have negative sine theta over 1 times in the denominator now tips becomes cos theta over sine theta and look what I forgot I forgot my 2 there I, I apologize there should be a 2 okay 2 there but that sign cancels with that sign and I'm left with this beautiful negative 2 cos theta as an answer and that's it